Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Down here, 13th and Broadway, in the California neighborhood at St. Augustine Catholic Church. Today's review is going to be very different from all the other Catholic fish fries I've been to in a lot of different ways. I got a couple suggestions from some of my followers, one of which was a Harper down in Texas. Harper says, please go to a black Catholic church for the Lent fish fry. You won't regret it. Then another unnamed commenter states, you need to try St. Augustine's on Broadway. Granted, the fish fries profiled are good, but they pale in comparison to St. Augustine. So I went ahead and did a little research because I had never been to an African-American Catholic fish fry before. So I started doing a little uh, investigating and not only did I see that their fish fries are very unique and different from what I've had before, but also, St. Augustine is different from any of the parishes I've been before. St. Augustine is an outreach center. They service the poor, the needy, uh, the homeless. Uh, they're big into education for the youth. But the biggest thing is, is they love people where they're at instead of where we think they should be. So when I was reading about the church history, it really touched my heart. And this is a big history video today because St. Augustine actually was established by a local archdiocese bishop back in 1868. He decided that after the Civil War had ended and the Emancipation Proclamation had been established five years earlier, he decided that the black community in Louisville needed a Catholic parish. So just two years later in 1870, the African-American congregation of St. Augustine marched up Broadway and came to 14th of Broadway where their first established location was. And then just two years later, they had their own church on that site. And then fast forward a few more years later, in 1902, this church building was established and St. Augustine Parish has been worshiping here ever since. So. Anyway, enough of the history for now. I'm going to tell you a lot more later, but we're going to go on in to check out this food. Okay, waiting in line now, but this is one heck of an operation. You got to stand in one long line if you're paying cash, another line if you want to pay card. Then once you get your order, you get in a long line over here and then go up and get your food. In line over here, I've been chatting over here with a young lady. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Yes, my name's Lori Jenkins. All right, Lori, uh, she's been giving me some info here. I'm going to go ahead and pick her brain a little bit. She says she's been coming here for at least 25 years, 1997. Go ahead and hit us some, give us some highlights about what would want to make people come to this fish fry and what sets them apart than the other fish fries around Louisville. Well, I've been coming here, like you said, 25 years. The fried fish is just incredible. It's completely crispy, no sogginess, um, flaky on the inside, very, very great texture to it. Um, the baked fish is so flavorful and well seasoned. Those are the two that I go between. Mm -hmm. The sides are incredible. They're homemade. You've got homemade mac and cheese, homemade fried potatoes. I've never had baked fish like this. It's got like uh, tomatoes and peppers and onions. It's a... Mm -hmm. uh, really delicious. The closest thing I can think of to this baked fish is when I went to the Cayman Islands in the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. The pick and pepper sauce is similar to that. Oh, That's the closest thing. okay. All right. Well, I appreciate you taking the time sure. while we're waiting here. And uh, I'm getting real close. We're getting close to the front, finally. Yay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it.
Appreciate you want to eat, uh, roll, can, roll, can I get you on there? Oh, I inspired you to try roll oysters. I want to try it. It looks look good. Uh, okay. Last week. Oh, I, I put that one on two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah. Well, what'd you think? Oh, no. It looked look good. All right. Oh, you haven't eaten one yet. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, okay. Well, reach out in the comments section. Let me know what you think when you have one. All right. Appreciate you following. Well, I'm getting so hungry. I'm about ready to go into panic mode. Look at all the different kinds of fish, which I can't wait to show you something that I have not had in 40 years. And I'll explain it in just a minute. I know y'all see them fried potatoes over. She's scooping up. It's calling my name. I didn't get the baked fish, but I wish now I had them. Look at that. She got three. Oh, she's got three. Oh, my. That baked fish ain't your regular baked fish. That comes with fixings. Fried cornbread. They ain't playing. Before I get started, ran into a longtime friend here, Tina Livingston, whose sister's with another great friend of mine, Rose Livingston. She just happened to be here picking up carryouts for others, not even eating herself, doesn't think of herself, just does for others. That's like... That's her thing. Oh, man. Okay. And we were just talking a second ago. Uh, you said you're a Libra. I am. Okay. I am a Libra. Fellas, you know about them Libras. Look out. All right. So Tina is going to help me out. She's actually going to film me eating today. So let me, let's just go ahead and get started. All right. So I am starting off with the whole catfish. Oh, you can use that. Go ahead. It's hot. All right. It says on there, extra hot. I bought that special at uh, Publix just for that. Uh-huh. Here, you want some of this, too? I'm not even going to use that. All right. So, I got the whole catfish. Fried potatoes. Now, as I said, this is my first African-American Catholic fish fry, and it's unique, and you ain't going to get near a morsel of any of this anywhere else. Fried potatoes and onions, mixed greens, and these ain't out of no glory green can. These are fresh. And, of course, you might get catfish somewhere else, but you're not getting a whole catfish. All right, whole catfish, you got to have technique. Otherwise, you're going to be swallowing bone, and I have to give you a Heimlich maneuver. So anyway, you got to scrape down. Scrape down along the side. Mmm. How is it? It's wonderful. Got the cornmeal breading. And for the haters out there that don't like me sticking my plate up, I want to call y'all plate haters instead of play haters. Yeah, I got to give everybody a good up close view. Look at the steam rolling off. Thank you, sir. Now, brought my Grace hot sauce. Like, uh, you know, I left my last bottle, left it at Shenanigans by accident, so I had to go to Publix and buy four more bottles <laughs> just in case. But as you see, Grace, saved by Grace. How appropriate, we're here, Lent Fish Fry. I'm not even going to play. I'm just putting the hot sauce on the greens and the potatoes up front. Not even front. The only thing, problem about this fish, when you got it on the bone, I can't do double snapping turtle bites. Mmm. Now a word from my sponsor. Welcome to Billy Bob's Barbecue and Amish Deli. A little country store with a whole lot to offer, so let's go in and see what they got. They've got homemade Amish jellies, pickles, jams, and honey and sorghum. They've got local Amish-made lunch meats and cheeses. And don't forget the award-winning Kansas City Gourmet Barbecue. Y'all don't know nothing about this Amish liver cheese and homemade sourdough bread. And don't forget about the homemade Amish fried apple pie. Just a 30 minute drive outside Louisville. It's veteran owned and y'all don't know nothing about this Billy Bob's barbecue and Amish deli. Now I gotta try this tartar. 
Mm. So good. All right. Let me try the potatoes and the greens. That is fried potatoes and onions. Fried potatoes and onion. You are correct. I didn't get any ketchup. I'm going to have to go back up here and get it. They do not have any. But I'm going to show you what they look like before I get my conglomeration together. Mmm. I swear when I took that bite of those potatoes and onions, I thought I heard Jesus. Mm. All right. Now the mixed greens. Mm. I'm telling you. Everybody that's been following my fish fry videos, you have to come down here. You are never going to get anything like this at any of your other fish fries that I've shown. They're good. Don't get me wrong. How but many have you been to? I've been to quite a few. I've been doing them now for three or four years. I've done probably five in the last two weeks. And then today I'm doing four. I'm leaving here. Going down to St. Martin de Pours, then tonight going to St. Anthanasius and St. Francis of, De si of Assisi. All right. So for you play haters, plate haters, I gotta get it up close and personal where you can see. But we also saw the smoke coming off of it. Right. And I just just gotta get some more of this. All right, so I'm taking a break from my catfish. Now I'm going down memory lane here. My granddad, L.V. Goodall, we used to go fishing on Floyd's Fork, and he was the master at catching buffalo and perch. And he would bring it home and fry it up, and it's got bone. Got to warn you, so you got to work with the bone, but. If it's what I remember it is, like tasting, you're not going to get a sweeter taste than off this buffalo. All right. Tina, if you'll zoom in here, you can see where the scales were. Buffalo does have quite a bit of bone. So you, you got you to gotta have technique. Scrape it downward. I didn't put the hot sauce or tartar because I wanted to have that flavor that I had 40 years ago when Grandpa was cooking it up fresh right out of the creek. Now that I've had my flashback, tartar, extra hot grace, Mm. I don't actually mm. know, other than Coke Zero, I don't know what soda you Had that flavor intoxication okay. moment. Yeah. Lionel Richie cleaning that. my head, Commodore. Don't worry, team, I'm not going to break out and start singing. This is good. Look at that. Good white meat, sweet tasting. And I know. If y'all been following my fish fry videos, y'all don't know nothing about this buffalo. Got to taste another bit of these greens. Mm. I got a break dance of flavors going off in my mouth right now. Okay, I couldn't let that rye bread go to waste. They got some of that good seeded rye. Got my tartar and grace on there. You gotta be careful when you're eating buffalo. Especially fat people like me, when you get in a frenzy and a panic, 
You just want to swallow as soon as it hits your mouth. When it comes to buffalo, you got to be cautious. I was going to go outside and do my closing. Hey, I got, I got an Ethan alum here. You want to stick your face in? No, man. Oh, you don't? I got Oh, come no. on now. Come on. Almost got yeah, you. I know it. Uh, <laughs> it's great seeing you. Subscribe and hit the notification bell on that Good Old Country Kitchen YouTube channel. All right. All right. A little right. impromptu uh, sidebar when, there. It's what happens when you come here. You start running into all sorts of people that you know. Right. I just want to make sure I'm readjusting. Okay. Uh, Which also makes it very nice because it's that friendly here. Right. All the time. I think it's, there's one thing that this fish fry does have in common with the other fish fries I've done is this is not only a place where you come to get together to eat, but you get together with friends and family, and it's just, it's love, it's, you know? And it's about food and fellowship. Exactly. That's what this is. And it's, and love is packed all in there. It's salt. They cook with love. Absolutely. And that's what keeps us coming back. And as I said in the intro, this place is unique. And other churches are about love, too. But yes. this place is an outreach center. Uh, they're, like I said, they love people where they're at instead of where they where we want them to be. Right. So that, that's a unique thing here, and I can get behind a mission like that. All right. Never going to get food like this at another uh, fish fry, except for the one I'm about to leave and go to now. So stick around. I'm headed west on Broadway, headed to the next stop. Tina, I thank you very much. It's been a pleasure, my friend. All Always right. a pleasure to see you. And y'all don't know nothing about the St. Augustine fish fry. That's right. Continuing on down Broadway, we're at 32nd Street, and we're at St. Martin de Poor's Catholic Church. Continuing on with the African-American Catholic Church fish fry. So, we're in the Parkland neighborhood, which you saw in the lead-in. This is the home neighborhood of Muhammad Ali. Showed his boyhood home there, and uh, which is now has preserved a historic landmark. But uh, also, this church has a lot of historical significance. St. Martin de Porres was actually established in 1989 from a merger of like four different other churches. Uh, the building itself was the Holy Cross Catholic Church. That building was built in 1927. So it's been a pivotal landmark here in this community. It serves the community just like St. Augustine, the poor, the homeless, educational programs for children. It's an outreach center, just like St. Augustine. So there's a whole lot going on here. I heard news channels were here earlier today, so I hope the lines aren't too long. But you know, with long lines goes good food. Also, in another video I'm doing later today, the national treasure, Sam Stallings, is gonna be doing two more fish fries with me this evening, and that's gonna be on a separate video coming out next week. All right, we'll be right All right, look at all the good stuff. I told you, you're not going to find any of these fixings out at these other fish fries that I have reviewed. Is that what you're saying? The greens, mac and cheese, baked spaghetti. You really ain't going to see that. Oh yeah, I messed up. There's your fried potatoes. Okay. I got the greens and the spaghetti, but 
And they got the baked beans. Wow. Coach Holman. Sorry. I'll, I'm sorry for camera shot, Coach. Coach Holman, former Eastern High School teacher, male high school coach, and parishioner here at St. Martin de Perez. All right. I got my food order. I got a few minutes to kill. So I have Miss Yvette. Which your title is the co-chair of, of the, the fish, fish fry. fry. I am the co-chair of the fish fry. So yeah. I have found the correct person to give us the lowdown on what goes on here. Can you kind of tell us a little something about what sets y'all's fish fry apart from everybody else's? Well, first of all, let me tell you where, who we are. We are St. Martin de Porres Catholic Church at 3146 West Broadway in the Theobama Hall. And what sets us apart from the fish, from other fish fries is we make homemade desserts. We have uh, cornbread that everybody loves. Um, and our fish is fried to perfection. And what different types of fish do y'all have? We have whiting, cod, and uh, catfish. Okay. And your sides? Our sides are fried potatoes, macaroni and cheese, coleslaw, green beans, greens, baked spaghetti, and baked beans. Now, as you all saw, I just published a video where I was at uh, St. John Paul II and St. Bernard's, and everything was great there, but y'all don't know nothing about what they got here, okay? You're not going to find it out in the suburbs. If you want to get what I'm about ready to get, you're going to have to come west, and get down here past 9th Street and keep on headed west till you get here. Right. All right. If you want some good soul food, you need to come to 32nd and Broadway. Exactly. People don't know nothing about an African-American Catholic Church fish fry. Correct. All right. But we're going to clue them in here in just a minute. Okay. I told all right. you about all the fixings in the back that you can't get normally other places. Look at these homemade desserts that the lady parishioners have put together some peach cobbler y'all don't know nothing about that out at st bernard's and caramel cake chocolate cake pumpkin pie bourbon bread pudding got the bourbon glaze carrot cake okay man this is gonna be a tough decision i might have to go back and pay for an extra dessert because these all look so good I just can't get one. I got Coach Holman here. Hold him out of the trenches for a minute. Uh, Coach, uh, how long have you been a member here at St. Martin de Porres? It's been 22, going on 23 years I've been here. We were members of St. Peter Claiborne until the Archdiocese closed it. So we had to transform down to another church. It was either here or St. Augustine. My nephew said, hey, I like it here. So that's where we got stuck at, which is it's, it's fine. And... Uh, I know uh, getting up at six thirty, at five o'clock this morning to get down here by seven thirty. Everything is pretty much is homemade as far as the cakes and stuff like that. Uh, we we do have one thing in com in in in, advan in our advantage. We, instead of just having fish and fries and coleslaw, we have green baked beans, macaroni and cheese. We try to have a variety for people to to look at. Right. Usually you go to the uh, other uh, fish fries and it's fries, hush puppy, slaw. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ain't playing here. No, we try not to, but we try to get the people to come back. Thank yeah. you, Coach. All right, By the way, Coach Holman, how many years were you at Eastern High School? 28 years coaching and, and teaching. Okay. You know, Coach Holman's a legend at Eastern High School. We try to be. Right. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> All right. Little shot. Uh, what's going on behind the trenches here? Let me see what's in that basket, if you don't mind. What do you got in there? Catfish, sir. Catfish. Good old catfish. Fresh out well, of the fryer. Right out of the fryer, man. Mm, 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 mm. Some nice size fillets there. Yes, it is, man. All right. All right. Before I get going here, I just want to show you good and up close. I got the whiting and the greens. What kind of greens we got here, ladies? Mixed greens. Kale, collard, and that's it? Just those two? Okay. Two of my favorites, by the way. That means they got good texture. All right. The whiting and what a bonus. I knew they had cornbread, but I didn't know they had fried cornbread. 
All right, and of course, my chocolate cake. Well, it looks enough like it's for four people. Now a word from my sponsor. Shop secondhand first with Peddler's Mall. New products are added daily by our vendors. Vintage, antiques, uniques, furniture, clothing, collectibles, crafts, gifts, oddities, home decor, and more. Hundreds of vendors in every location. You never know what you will find. Interested in becoming a vendor? Contact us today. 18 locations across Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and West Virginia. Open seven days a week. This is for the plate haters. Got to get it up close even though I already showed it once. All right. Go ahead and get my tartar sauce on there. And, as you all know, I'm a professional. Gail Johnson out in California sent me this gift. When I was at St. Augustine, I left this in the car and had to work with a plastic fork deboning all that fish. So anyway, y'all don't know nothing about this baked spaghetti, mixed greens. Hold up. Mmm. Mmm. That spaghetti smells so good. I had to taste that first. All right. I didn't get bread for a sandwich, but the whiting is fillets. It's not bone in. I done had all the bone work I had earlier at St. Augustine. I'm just going to enjoy this with double snapping turtle bites. Mmm. So good. White, flaky. Got that good cornmeal breading. Green River style, a lot of people call it. Mmm. Mmm. Gotta get that Diet Coke. Ah. By the way, not only is the food terrific here, these are some really fine folks down here running this thing. Everybody's so friendly, the customers, everybody. So good. Now, look at that. Colt Holman, he told the ladies here that I was a singer, that I could sing. I'll tell you what, I'm getting this close to breaking out into some Lionel Richie right now. This food is so good. Uh, the ladies were asking me how it was. Instead of telling you, I'll just show you how good it was. There you go. Now. Okay. My favorite cake. Chocolate on chocolate. And you know, when you have that much chocolate, you got to wash it down with some cold milk. They don't have milk on the menu, but I put a little money in the collection plate and they went in the back and got me a cup of cold milk. So it's going to be complete now. Mm. So moist. That is very good. And by the way, I confirmed all the desserts are homemade by the ladies here in the parish. Ah, that, that milk is right on the verge of freezing. It's so cold. That was one of the most frustrating things of the day. Was deciding which dessert I was going to get. Because they all look so good. Before I forget, another bonus about this place is they're open from 11 to 6. Not just 11 to 1, 11 to 2, or 5 to 7. They're open 7 hours, 11 to 6, or until they run out. Let me just say that. I'm kind of mad at Coach Holman for not telling me about this place years ago. I've been missing out. Well, that kind of coincides with that 
Elks Club story off Preston about 1989. I'll tell you all that story sometime. Well, I'll just go ahead and tell it. Coach Holman, as you know, Eastern High School, he knew me, class 84. He was a teacher there. He knew I was kind of a loud mouth troublemaker. So uh, I was at a wedding reception. My friend Jason Walker just got married in the wedding party, went to the Elks on Preston after the reception, kind of like an after party. So I walk in. I see Coach Holman in the back. I'm yelling out, Holman, Holman. He literally dove underneath the table to avoid anybody in there knowing that he knew me. So, yeah, that's right, Coach Holman. I'm telling on you. Also, while I'm thinking about it, they do salmon croquettes every other week. So, if you see here, all right, March 8th, they're going to have the salmon croquettes. And I was giving a heads up that if you don't get here by noon, they're usually gone. So, you need to be here between 11 and 12, get those salmon croquettes. All right, I'm wrapping things up here. But I just ran into a gentleman. We just started chatting. Joseph Rogers, Flagge, class of 76. Class of 76, yes. Uh, you went to school with Bruce Lynch, is that yes. correct? Yes, the, the Grant Brothers. Okay. All right. Well, I just wanted to wrap up by letting you know, I was just uh, telling Joseph all these other suburb fish fries. It's basically fries, hush puppy, onion ring, slaw. But you don't have to get fried stuff here. They have all the different options here. Yes, okay? we got all the sort of things like collard greens, green beans, and macaroni and cheese, and all this homemade stuff that the mothers make while they're at home. And then they cook it up and bring it in big old pots of it. We lay it out here where people love coming to eat these side oils. It's the main ingredient for our uh, cookout we have every Lent. It's a big occasion. So come and enjoy yourself. You'll love it. And like I said, if the food was good enough, it could motivate me and make me break out into some Commodores. And I wouldn't want to let the ladies down. Joseph, you're probably going to get embarrassed here, but we play the games that people play. We made our mistakes along the way. Somehow I know deep in my heart you needed me like I needed you so desperately. I'm out. Go ahead. But then most of all, I do love you still. And y'all don't know nothing about these African-American Catholic Church Lenten fish fries. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.